Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to change your boot order on your PC to boot to an external USB hard drive like this one right here. The process does differ from a SATA connected SSD or HDD. So let's dive into it. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. All right, so here we have our Hyperbase external hard drive. And if we turn this over, you're gonna see one connection on the side. That is literally the only way you could possibly connect this. Everything else is fully enclosed. So all we have to do is take the provided cable. We're going to plug that directly into the port on our hard drive. This end of the cable is a USB 3 connection. All you have to do is plug this in to any USB port on your PC, and then we're gonna adjust the boot order. So I'm gonna plug this into my PC, again, via this USB connection right here, and we're gonna jump over onto the screen capture to show you guys exactly what you need to do in order to change your boot order to boot to a USB device. All right, so the first thing that we need to do once we have connected our external hard drive to our PC via USB connection is we need to hit whatever button our PC requires in order to open up our BIOS setup utility. So I am on an HP uh, Pavilion gaming PC today, and it actually for me requires hitting function 10. So F10 on the keyboard, and you would just tap this repetitively until this screen opens up. Your screen may differ from this one, but it's going to look very much the same in terms of what the options are laid out across the top. Most PCs that I have come across and done this with, it is anywhere from F9 to F12 on your keyboard. Uh, some cases I know it could be F1 or F2, but most of the time I would say it's F10, um, at least in my experience with HP computers. So you're gonna come to this right here. If this opens up where it says save changes and exit, just go over and hit no. Sometimes that happens just off of hitting that function button repetitively. Um, next thing we're going to do is we are going to go over to boot options, which for me is the fourth option over. From here, we are going to go down. Now, you're going to see down here at the bottom, it says UEFI boot order. And if you are familiar with booting to a internally connected SSD or hard drive, then you would actually go into the OS boot manager and you'd be able to change your boot order within there. Because today we are going in through a USB connection, what we wanna do is you'll notice that the top option here has that little black arrow pointing to OS boot manager. What we wanna do is we wanna actually move the options down and you'll notice the third option down says USB flash drive slash USB hard drive. And what we have connected today is a USB hard drive. That is what we want to highlight. So you'll actually see instructions on the right hand side. It says up and down arrow keys, select device, F5 and F6 keys, move the device down or up. So we are highlighting USB flash drive slash USB hard drive. That is the option we want to see all the way at the top. So I'm going to hit F6 on my keyboard. That is going to move that option up. I'm gonna hit F6 once again. That moves it all the way up to the top. That is what we want selected on here. In order to save this, we're just gonna take the arrow key over to exit up there in the top right corner. And we're going to hit enter on what is highlighted currently, and that is save changes and exit. That is going to change our boot order to that USB hard drive. So I'll go ahead and confirm that with enter. I'm gonna hit enter once again to just confirm this little pop-up here that says save changes and exit. And it's going to reboot our computer and should boot us right into that externally connected through USB hard drive. All right, guys, we walked through the process here to change your boot order to actually boot from an external source like this hard drive right here that connects via USB. Let me know in the comments section if you have any questions. I'm happy to help you guys out as best I can. That's going to do it for today, though. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. If you enjoyed the content and you found it helpful, leave me a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos. Thanks again. See you in the next video.